Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode. Today, I just got done driving about like eh, 40 minutes or so from Fargo, North Dakota, and I'm actually fishing in Minnesota. We're on like the border of Minnesota and North Dakota, so it's basically kind of like Western Minnesota. We are actually going to be meeting up with the subscriber. He's got this fire lake that he hit me up with, and he's like, yo, dude, come on down, come fish with me. I'll show you what's up about this lake. And I'm like, bet. I haven't been able to catch any fish in a while, so I was like, I'm gonna go down here and fish with my buddy here before we get fishing today i had to stop and get some bait because today we're not fishing plastics because we're not really fishing for crappies or bluegills like i normally fish for we are targeting yellow perch one of my favorite fish to catch and this lake that we're going to this guy catches normally a lot of perch here oh my god this guy's ripping over here but this guy actually catches a lot of perch at this lake we're going to there's potential for like 15 inches so i'm Keeping my fingers crossed, but I'm hoping we actually just get a few to take home and eat for you guys. Do a little catch and cook action. The store opens at 9 a.m. and it's about like 8.40, 8.50. I got here a little bit early just so I can get a, a good start on the day. So we're gonna wait for this bait store to open and then we're gonna go inside, get some bait, and start fishing. Hmm. Oh God, yeah, here's the fish and stuff. Um, hmm. Can I just get one scoop of fat heads, please? Gosh dang, dude. Got the old bait right here. Sorry I didn't film much of that. I got actually told to stop filming at a like little ass hardware hank in the middle of nowhere. Like this this town is tiny and this dude was like, I prefer if you don't film in here. I was just like, really? I expect it from like Walmart or something like that, but like a family owned like business like this, did not expect that. That's, that's getting weird. But we got the old minners right there. We got a little rip and wrap that I may or may not use and a little stringer because we're going to harvest a little bit. And with that being said, I think it is time to hop in the old car here, go meet up with my subscriber and start fishing. Oh, hello there. Hey. You got a nice fancy rig here. Try. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is Andrew. Nice to meet Andrew, you. Andrew, viewers. <laughs> well, we made it out here to the farm that we're actually fishing. We're fishing like a farm pond. It is a beautiful day out. I mean, like, you couldn't ask for a better day to ice fish. I got my sunglasses on, which I never I never take ice fishing. I didn't put my contacts in, so that's why I look kind of funny. Wearing the old sunglasses on top of the glasses, but we're heading out there. Hopefully, fingers crossed, gonna catch a perch today. Well, she's a little bit windy today. Oh, we made it to the spot here. Andrew actually has a uh, permanent shack already set up out here. We might fish in, in here for a little bit. I don't know. It's pretty nice out like I was saying, but the audio gonna be cheek. So I might have to fish inside this, but look at this. Oh God, yeah. Like, look at that thing. Freaking luxury. You guys know me. I never fish in anything bougie like this. So this will be a nice change of pace. Got the generator right there. Let's go inside and see what's up. Oh man, this is like, luxury fishing at its finest we got the all vexlar aqua view kind of looking thing there got a little jig down there got the holes got the boys doing some fishing there i landed some got some what, what is this some nice cartoons going on right there heard that's good luck for the perch fishing this is a nice little house here as you guys know i don't really fish and stuff like this so this is kind of a new experience for me i might do a little bit of fishing in here or i might do some hole hopping outside kind of depends but you guys know how perch fishing is they like to jump around uh to really stay on top of those schools you gotta hole hop and really get on those fish but we're gonna kind of get situated here and i'll see you guys on the chesty All right, getting baited up here. We're actually gonna start out big. We're gonna start fishing pretty aggressively using a 16th ounce jigging spoon VMC. It's actually called a VMC rattling spoon. I'm just tipping it with a big old minnow head. And that's the presentation that we're gonna start with. This should be good for walleye or jumbo perch. We're gonna start jigging here. About nine feet using my walleye rod so it's gonna be hard to see these little perch bites if they're a little bit finicky oh i got two marks down there now don't be like that you're gonna make me get on my knees and work for this huh oh i got i am i have so many fish down there right now oh no get down there oh man oh big school giant school there we go that feels pretty nice Oh man, oh my God, dude, look at this perch. Dude, dude, this is huge. 
Oh my, oh my God, I got a huge school down there. I just caught a absolute giant for a first fish. Wait a minute, oh my God, oh my God. Dude, this is the biggest perch I've, I think this might be the biggest perch I've ever caught. Look at this Bubba, look at that. We're gonna drill him a little live well real quick. All right, we're gonna put butt in like a little live well real quick. Let him just hang out for a second. Oh my God, dude, that's a giant. I'm not gonna keep that one, guys. That's just way too big to keep. But literally, I had like two fish that were on me. They're acting super, super finicky. And then all of a sudden, a giant school came in. I mean, an absolute giant school that came in. About five feet came up and just whacked me. Absolutely whacked me. This is a giant. I'm gonna, I just wanna come over here and see if there's still fish down here. But there's not, that school left. I just wanna show you guys how big this fish is. Oh my gosh. Look at this fish. This thing is absolutely giant. Just a freaking jumbo here. Look at this, look at this. Look at the belly on that, guys. This is definitely, I think this might be my PB. I'm gonna get my tape measure out and check it real quick. That is a 12 and a half inch daddy. This thing is 12 and a half inches, absolute giant fish. I'm not gonna be keeping this one because this is just a little too big. You want these ones to go back in the water to reproduce, freaking jumbos all right one last look at this absolute bomb this is by not my pb but it's very close anything over 13 will be my pb but we're gonna let this fish go here she went right down she was ready wow that is one hell of a way to start the day off that was my first fish here and i was like i'm gonna do a perch catch and cook ended up catching a freaking giant damn near my pb can't be keeping those fish but wow that's a great sign Oh, all right, well, we're back at it. That was some exciting first five minutes of a fishing trip so far. <laughs> we're dropping back down. I need that school to come back. Here's one right now. Fish all over. Oh, this is a little guy. This is a little guy, but we got a mark right here. Oh, this mark came out of nowhere. Come on now. There we go. Oh God, is this another big one? Oh, that's a, that's a eater right there. There we go. Oh, I got a school here. I got a school here. There's there's one. I got to get back down. I don't have a minnow head, so we're going no minnow. I have a giant school over here. There we go. Oh, there's another one. This is borderline a keeper. I might throw this one back. This one's a little small. Yeah, this one's a little small. I'll let them go. When you guys are perch fishing, you want to stay on top of these fish as long as possible because, like, look, that school's already gone. I had a little spur of a moment where I had, like, I don't know, probably, like, 15, 10 to 15 fish around me. And now they're just gone just kind of run with it you know so oh wow big school came in there's a fish right there this feels pretty good yep there we go that's a good looking perch right there we'll take him home to eat oh man those fish came out of nowhere got smoked by that nice one right there one's probably around 10 inches or so oh, oh whoa whoa there okay all right redemption I might have a little school right here. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one right there. Look at that one. Beautiful, beautiful. Had to switch up holes. It just took moving like 10 feet over to the left. All right, about nine, nine and a half inches. We'll take that one home to harvest. And the school is gone just like that. Rip, where'd they go? Here's a mark, come on. Oh, missed him. First mark in a while though. Big score here, come on, come on. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get smoked. There we go. Finally, another one. Ooh, that's a nice one. There we go. Another big perch. Gosh dang, dude. This perch is so nice. Oh man, fat school down there. There we go, another quality fish. I got a school here, dropping back down here. Come on now, stay here, stay here for a little bit longer. Come on. Oh wow, school came out of nowhere. Oh, there's like 50 fish. There's one right there. Oh man. Yeah. Oh my God, dude. The quality of fish that we've been catching today, super good, like I mean super good. Oh, that's a nice fish. Hold up, that school's still here, that school's still here. Let me get down, let me get down. Come on, he won't, oh yeah, oh yeah. Gonna get smoked. 
Huge school, huge school. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness. Another one, just a small little guy. I lost my minnow head. I lost my minnow head, but we're just gonna send him back down. We're gonna see if they're gonna bite this spoon with no bait on it. No bait on it, we're going back down. God, oh yeah. Another mark, another mark, come on. I don't have any baits. Oh yeah, he's not interested. Oh, this one is. Oh, this is big. This might be big. Yep. Look at this one, dude. Oh my God, dude. Just a fatty. He bit that without any bait on it. That is a chubby looking perch right there. Like, oh my God. This is a nice perch. We're gonna let him go. This one's too big to keep, but absolutely crushed that. Look at that. Don't even have any bait on it. He just crushed the spoon just like that. Look at the belly on that guy. Oh my God, 12 inch perch right there. Nice 12 incher. Going back down, see you guys. God, I love catching big perch. That gets me excited. All right, where'd they go? Time to walk and find them. Oh, here comes another one. I got, oh wow, that one smoked it. This feels nice. This feels pretty nice, boys and girls. Tangled in the deucey. Oh my God, another big one. Oh my goodness. Ugh, I'm catching freaking bombs. This day has been amazing. Look at this perch, insane, dude. Absolutely insane. Absolutely doinked it. Just another freaking bomb. Another nice bomb. Absolutely insane. Oh God, I just measured it. Another 12 and a half incher. Absolute bomb, dude. See you later, my guy. Oh my God. Well, we uh, we wussed out. We decided to come inside the house and do a little fishing, do a little bit of, a little bit of luxury fishing. Got the aqua view over there, if you can see that. And then watching some, some good old ESPN. We're just doing some chill fishing now. We caught the big ones. We got all our big fish catches out of the way. And now it's kind of like, eh, you know, whatever happens, happens. We're just gonna chill inside here for, for a little bit and just kind of hopefully, fingers crossed, some, some fish move in here. Just living it up inside the luxury bougie life. Uh-oh, <laughs> hooked up. We got some fish on the aqua view. There we go. Not a bad one, but look at look at all the fish on the aqua view. They literally just came in. Look at all them. Oh, my dead stick went down. Oh, your dead stick. Oh, Andrew. Andrew's got a fish on the dead stick now. Oh, I got a fish biting my, my rod right now. How's it feel? Oh, yeah. Just a little guy. But we got some fish coming in. I, I'm marking. Oh, God, I'm going to this hole. I'm marking a bunch of fish right now. About to get smoked. There we go. Look at that. Man. There we go. We just have a little flurry now. There you go. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me get this camera set up right. Just another little guy. This is our first fish that we've seen inside the house. Oh, I missed that one. That looks like a, that one that just ran by looked pretty big. <laughs> did. There we go. Andrew crushed another one using the little aqua view there. Well, we just had a little flurry of fish there. I think Andrew caught two. Did you catch two? Three. You caught. Sheesh, got three. I pulled out one and now they kind of are gone, but we're hoping like as this, this evening kind of comes on, they just start roaming this area a little bit more. Um, we're actually fishing about a foot deeper than we were earlier today. So that could have something to do with it, but it was really cool to see those fish on the aqua view. The next time some more fish come in, I'll try to capture that a little bit better for you guys, but stay tuned, I guess. Uh-oh, we're on again. Is this a little better? You're getting, you're getting my hopes up. Ooh. Oh, I got, I got my line yep. there. That's what it was. That's a nice one, man. That's a fatty. Dang. Nice fish, man. See ya. <laughs> I might be cutting some more. Oh, no. All right, well, Andrew's done fishing for the day. Um, it'll just be me. And that was kind of weird. It's only one, that was one lone perch that came in. Usually they, they come in schools, but there we go. There's another one. Oh. Oh, he's going to do it. Oh, oh yeah, oh, I can't tell if that's big or just close to the camera. Oh, this is so cool, dude. You miss him again? Bruh, 
People are gonna roast you in the comments. Uh, that happens to all of us. Don't don't. It <laughs> happens to me all the time, Andrew. I'm telling you guys, everybody, not everybody's a pro here. But that is, I think that's gonna wrap up my time fishing with Andrew. Huge shout out to Andrew for letting me come out to his lake here and show me the ropes. One of my best days of perch fishing. Caught like multiple, probably 12 inches or something like that. He caught some nice good ones, and his other family members that were here caught some pretty good fish around here. Now it is time to go back home and start my favorite process of this video. You guys already know, doing the whole catch and cook action. I have about five, I believe five perch. I'm gonna go home and cook up tonight. Stay tuned, we'll see you guys at the house. Hello. Yep, there she be, dripping all over the driveway. That's great for it. But here are the fish that I kept. All of these are around the 10 inch range, so perfect for eating. This one was a little bit bigger than I expected to keep. I gut hooked him, so I was like, selective harvest, baby. We're taking him home. We have made it back to the good old house in Fargo, and we're gonna clean these guys up. You guys know the drill here. I'm not gonna show you guys the whole process of cleaning these, just because YouTube has been super sketch lately, so not even gonna deal with it, not gonna make them mad. Gonna clean these off camera, and then I'll see you guys once I'm done inside, ready to make these fish. Shouts to my guy, Nick, for getting me this shirt. He's a loyal sub. He got me this shirt, so I gotta open up the scene here showing you guys a shirt. It's kind of backwards. I don't know if you guys can read that. It's kind of inappropriate. Oh, snap. There she be, boys. This right here is the perch that we just caught two, three hours ago. Right here, all ready to go in this little baggie. Then over here, we got some leftover crappie that I'm going to make as well, just because my girlfriend and I are kind of hungry. And then y'all already know the strat here. We got the flour, we got the eggs. Then today's batter is the Louisiana New Orleans style fish fry seafood breading mix, real lemon added, family owned and operated. Yep. All right, so most of you know the process. We're actually gonna cook the perch first. And what the process is, we take this, we put it inside that, then we put it in that, then we put it in that, then we put it in that. Quite the freaking operation that we're running here, but you guys kinda, I kinda gave a rundown of what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna set up a little time lapse, let it roll out, and I'll talk to you guys once all the fish is done. GTFO, mother trucker. Bro, look at the freaking spread. We got Rona and a lime. We have the classic fish and chip special right here. This is the perch right here. And this are some nice fries that my lovely girlfriend made. Good job, babe. And we kind of already got hungry and ate a little bit of crappie already. So crappie KO'd, absolutely gone. But we left the best for last. We got the old perch that I caught and it's looking scrumptious, so we're about to dig in here. Yep. Mm-hmm. So good. You've had walleye before, haven't you? Yes. So what do you like better, perch or walleye? It's a hard choice. This, honestly, is up there with walleye. It's so good, this breading is really good. I'd have to agree, I'd have to agree. I would say, you know, for me as well, it's, it's up there, but I think walleye has a little bit of an edge. Oh, Lord! Oh, bruh! I don't know if that's focusing, but it looks absolutely tasty. This was swimming about three hours ago, guys. Three hours ago. It doesn't get any more fresh than this. Here we go. That breading's good. I've not had this breading before. Oh, man. I could just mouth this. Mm-mm-mm. Try a little bit of potato. Just like a potato. Man, overall, the little fish and chip action there, absolutely phenomenal. Arona 
fish and chips. Oh my, God. it does not get any better than this, especially after the day I had. I mean, today was just like one of the best perch fishing days I ever had. I probably caught about four that were over 12 inches, which is really good day for me in my books. I think that's a good day for anybody, but it was more satisfying because I had such a tough, long day. And actually, comment down below if you guys experience this as well. But when I'm fishing, I just like lose track of time and I just like everything that like my hunger gone. I don't think about like when I'm hungry or anything like that. Like this whole time I was fishing today, I literally ate a sandwich in the morning, like a breakfast sandwich in the morning. Haven't ate until now. I don't know. It's just kind of like when I'm fishing, like I'm just it's so in the zone. I forget about my all my other senses. I just ignore my stomach and stuff like that. And just was like, you know, have fun catching fish, I guess. But drop a comment down below and let me know if that happens to you guys as well. That's where we're going to end today's video. Again, huge shout out to my guy, Andrew, for hooking it up fat with the spot. It was super nice of him to bring me out there and it was, it was a great time. Also, for the next catch and cook that we do, Lindsay, what do the viewers have to do? Drop a comment down below letting us know what, I don't know what to say, <laughs> what other ways to prepare fish or what. Hi guys, this is my first time on camera. <laughs> well, I think you guys understand where she's coming from. Drop some comments down below on what kind of recipes we should do next for our next catch and cook. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. See you guys next time.